This was shared on our Reddit subsection by Linus, which, by the way, you can check out our Reddit subsection at reddit.com slash r slash get your news on with Ron. That's where you can leave articles for the show. Uh, I check it daily. This one was left by Linus, and it is from the World Socialist website, and it concerns Syria. WikiLinks uh, published some stuff over the weekend uh, indicating more concerns regarding the uh, regarding our actions in Syria and regarding the quote-unquote official report uh, that dropped in Syria. So let's go to this article. Leaked email on alleged chemical attack shows 2018 strikes against Syria were based on lies. On Saturday, WikiLeaks published an internet email written by a member of the OPCW, which is the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, um, and this was about the fact-finding mission to Syria that exposes the far-reaching efforts to suppress and distort evidence in order to claim that the government of Bashar al-Assad was responsible for the alleged April 7th, 2018 attack in Doma, uh, a suburb of Damascus. Okay. The revelation once again makes clear the lying character of the campaign to justify the U.S. regime change operation in Syria, which has turned large sections of the country into a wasteland, killing hundreds of thousands of people and turning millions into refugees. So here's a refresher here in this paragraph. The alleged attack in which as many as 49 people were reportedly killed was seized on by the governments of the United States, Britain, and France to justify the launching of missile strikes just one week later against Syrian government forces. Now, this part's important here. And a lot of you guys remember when this happened. I remember when this happened. The attacks took place just hours before an OPCW fact-finding team was due to arrive in Syria to begin an investigation. Before. <laughs> the key word there is before. The attacks took place. And I remember when this happened in real time. I'm sure you do too. We were attacking and we didn't even know what happened. We were like, something happened. We don't know exactly what happened, but we know who did it. That was our logic. That was the United States logic. Something happened in Syria. We don't know what happened, but we know who was responsible. It was Assad and we got to do something. Because the babies, said Donald Trump. And then we dropped bombs. And then Donald Trump was praised for it. He was called presidential. Because in the United States, when you go on fact-finding missions to seek diplomacy, you're called suspicious. That's controversial. Trying to, trying to promote peace is controversial. Trying to promote war, that's presidential. That's the United States mindset, baby. Peace, controversial. War, presidential. That's how it works. So before we even knew what happened or who was behind it, we just started dropping bombs. The assault brought the U.S. and its allies to the brink of open war, not just against Syria, but also against the Assad government's allies, Iran and Russia. The alleged attack in Doma came as Assad was consolidating control of the areas around Damascus. And shortly after Trump uh, had announced that U.S. troops deployed to control the eastern half of Syria uh, and they'd soon be leaving. So in other words, Assad was getting what he wanted. And the worst thing he could do would be to gas his own people so that the U.S. came back. But allegedly, that's what he did. That's what everyone was told. Everyone was told that was what was happened. That's what happened. Was the investigation completed when they concluded that? Nope. It hadn't even started. Didn't even start an investigation, but concluded this dude did it. And here's what he did. All right, so on April 8th, one day after the alleged chemical attack and before any investigation had been carried out, Trump tweeted, there had been a mindless chemical attack by the animal Assad, backed by Russia and Iran, and there'd be a big price to pay. Again, April 8th, one day after the alleged chemical attack and before any investigation had been carried out. No investigation. Didn't know what happened. So Saturday's WikiLeaks release makes it clear that the OPCW report published in July 2018 was shaped to conform with the public allegations made by the U.S. British Mail uh, on Sunday, columnist Peter Hitchens, in an article based on the WikiLeaks release, noticed that the doctoring of the OPCW fact finders report appears to be the worst instance of sexing up in support of war since the invasion of Iraq and Tony Blair's doctor dossiers. We all remember what happened in Iraq, and they're saying this is the worst doctoring up since Iraq. That's, uh, that's pretty heavy. That's pretty heavy. And, uh, hey, something's, 
something's happening here. What's uh, what's going on? I I is the stream? What's what's uh, what, wait wait what's going on here? I'm I'm losing my signal here. What? Hi, this is John Bolton. I had to hide that to hijack the stream. I can do that. You know why I can do that? Because I actually know the cat's name. I know that the cat's name is Lucy. So sometimes I can hijack the stream. That's what I can do. I want you guys to know that all this stuff coming out of Syria is is a bunch of BS. I, I helped order the, the strikes with Trump, and we did the right thing. We were protecting freedom. We are protecting uh, uh, the, the interests of the American people. Do you not feel free? Do you not feel safe? We are keeping you safe from the people that we are arming. Do you not feel safe from, I mean, I mean, terrorists. I mean, we're, we're, we're keeping you safe from terrorists. That's what I meant. We're keeping you safe from terrorists. And, and this came from WikiLeaks, by the way, WikiLeaks. Which, can you really trust WikiLeaks? How often have they had to retract something that they published? Oh, wait, what, what? Never. They never had to retract anything? Like, never anything. Are you, are you serious? They never had to retract. Uh, oh, God, guys, you know what? I hear my car alarm. I, I got to go. I hear my car alarm. I, 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 I got to go. Wow, that was weird. I uh, oh, I did not know that John Bolton could do that here on this show. That's uh, whew, that is really weird to find out. He can uh, he can do that. But uh, Wow. And yeah, John Bolton, sorry to break it to you, but WikiLeaks has never had to retract anything. So uh, Linus, thank you for sharing that. There's some more stuff that has come to the surface on Syria. And in true American fashion, we shot first and asked never. It's not even ask later. It's ask never. Just, uh, just never. Just never ask. Then if more comes to the surface and it turns out you were just BSing the whole time, oh, well, that's what imperialists do. Get your news on with Rhonda. Do you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Rhonda. Do you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your 